My dear students, welcome to Brain of India, your own classroom. Today I am going to start a topic from the chapter Organism and Population of Class 12 Biology. So today I am going to start the topic is Bio. Okay. okay. So what is Bio? Okay. So Bio means a specific area. Specific area in an environment which is which have a specific type of climate type of climate. Reside there, reside there, adapt themselves to their situation, adapt themselves to their situation. Okay, now let, let us try to understand this definition. So, a biome is a specific area. So, biome is specific area. Suppose it's a specific area. Okay, in the biosphere, it is a specific area. Where the climatic condition is specific, for example, it may be here six months rain or throughout the rain, throughout the 12 months rain is there. Okay, so it's a specific area, it, is, it has its own climatic condition that it has its own climatic conditions and the animals that reside there had adapt themselves to that situation okay adapt themselves to that situation for example the you see the north pole or the south pole or the arctic region there is a specific biome that means the there is very cold climate is very cold climate is very cold and the organism for example polar bear okay polar bear adapt themselves to that situation that makes a biome for example in the desert also suppose desert desert is very hot and dry hot and dry so in that case also the animals or plants that is suppose the cactus is a plant or animal uh, camel you know very familiar example it was camel. So these animals or plants adapt themselves to that situation, that is the hot and dry situation, and together they constitute a biome. Okay. So we can understand the word biome by very simple equation. Okay. Also to make it clear. Okay. Suppose a specific environment. Plus animals and plants. Specific environment means specific climatic condition. Climatic condition. Climatic condition. Okay. And animals and plants together they constitute the biome. So this is the definition of biome. This is how we can understand biome. So, in India, there are some major types of biomes. The major types of biomes are, we know, first one is, you see, a tropical rainforest. Next one is, Deciduous, tropical deciduous forest. Forest. 
Then you have uh, desert. We have coastal areas. Or we have uh, aquatic biome also. So these are some major biomes of India. I'm not talking about world. These are some major biomes of India. Okay. So and I'll discuss each one of these in my class. Okay. So first is tropical rainforest. First one is tropical rainforest. So first I write down the characteristics of tropical rainforest. Then I will make you understand what exactly tropical rainforest is. The first point is the tropical rainforest because the forest lies at the tropical region of India. It is found in this uh, tropical rainforest found in Western Ghats and the North Eastern Himalayas. So tropical rainforest basically got its name because this forest lies in the tropical region of India. Suppose this is the map of India. And I am not drawing pretty. This is the tropical region of India. So here you see uh, in this range, in this range, uh, the uh, tropical rainforests are found. So basically uh, the western guard and northeastern Himalayas are known for the tropical rainforest. Next important characteristics of tropical rainforest is the tropical rainforest have large rainfall, heavy rainfall, okay, heavy rainfall. This kind of forest have heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall ranges from ranges from 2000 to 3000 millimeter this is the range of rainfall happen in this tropical rainforest okay also temperature temperature of the temperature of the rainforest ranges from 20 so temperature in this one 20 to 27 degree celsius okay this is 22 27 degree celsius but the main temperature is 22 degree celsius One more important point is that this kind of rainforest have tall trees. Maximum of these trees present in rainforest are tall. Tall trees are trees are present. It ranges from 30 to 60 meter height and this forest is divided into some strata 4 to 5, 3 to 4 to 5 strata are this and divided into four. okay and divided and divided Four to five strata. Okay. So what does this 
stata means stata means suppose uh, this is a forest okay this is a forest some trees are there then there will be large trees are there then large trees are there so there may a vertical division vertical range of forest so you see in in uh, tropical rain forest 12 for 12 trees ranges from 30 to 60 meter and 4 to 5 strata are around some trees are more uh, 30 that is 20 to 30 30 some trees are for 20 meter to 30 meter then some small uh, shrubs are there around 10 meter to 20 meter then hearts are also the hearts are very less very less uh, some um, roots are there so shrubs uh, bushes are there then in this one zero to so these are the stratas actually these are the stratas of the forest okay now one more important point regarding this forest is this kind of forest have less nutrient in their soil this kind of forest have less nutrient in their soil less nutrient in the soil why less nutrient in the soil because because reason is that maximum rainfall is there maximum rainfall is there maximum rainfall is there because because the rain water flushes the nutrients from the top soil rain water flushes the nutrient from the top soil or washes Flushes or washes the nutrients from the top soil as a result the soil is nutrient poor. One more thing I would like to tell you that there is always a competition among these ranges of plants. The 12 plants actually make an umbrella and there is always a fighting between these two plants for the sunlight so in the bottom line there will be less trees because the light not be able to reach this bottom line maximum amount of light is captured by this tall plants then the light range fall gradually in the bottom there will be always dark maximum time this is this region is in the daytime also this region is dark because maximum amount of light is taken up by the tall plants okay come back to the point okay so these are the characteristics of this kind of forest so what are the example of this kind of forest this kind of what kind of trees are present in this forest for example mahogany is there then rose wood is there then rose wood is there And uh, one more thing, the climbers, climbers and uh, epiphytes are grow profusely in this kind of forest. Climbers and um, these epiphytes are grow profusely in this kind of forest. So these are some uh, characters that I have discussed from this tropical rainforest. Not all characters I have discussed. Some important points I have discussed. The next kind of forest is tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous. Tropical deciduous forests are the name itself tells something that deciduous, deciduous, the word deciduous. That means this, the plant in this forest, plant in this forest shed their leaves, shed their leaves once a year or once a yeah, that is before the monsoon. Because the monsoon plants during the autumn season, this forest trees shed their leaves. But in case of tropical rainforest, the it is also called evergreen forest because tropical rainforest trees do not shed their leaves throughout the year. Okay, the so shed shed their leaves once in a year. This is a very important point. Okay. So, the next point 
for this is the next point is the temperature of the forest temperature of the forest ranges from 22 to 32 degree celsius okay rainfall range is around the uh, 70, 70 to 100 centimeter or you can say okay, 7700 or 2000 mm okay next point is that this forest also called monsoon forest this forest also called monsoon forest because the reason is one monsoon comes the forest become evergreen forest color changes otherwise because without monsoon in the autumn season the forest become uh, very you can say not evergreen still shed their leaves but uh, when the monsoon comes the forest become evergreen okay so one more important point is that in this kind of forest in this kind of forest in this kind of forest the soil is nutrient rich the soil is nutrient rich okay rich in it. so again there are different types of deciduous based on the availability of water it is moist deciduous forest if a maximum water is present it is for moist deciduous forest or if it is less available of water, it's for dry deciduous forest. So the, the, the trees that is found in this kind of forest are trees that are found in this kind of forest are sal, teak. Okay, these are the etc. Sal tree, etc. These are the trees commonly found in tropical deciduous forest. Next kind is next biome is considered here is desert biome In desert i do it shortly okay the desert we know a region where there is a lack of water okay a less rainfall rainfall is very less rainfall is very less in desert the rainfall is very less below 10 centimeter it will below 10 centimeter and uh, the environment is very harsh okay environment is very harsh days are often very hot days day time day are hot and nights are cold okay one more thing is that the Animals or plants that reside there and adapt themselves to the situation. This is a harsh situation. Okay, the animals that are found, you see some red snakes are there. Snakes are there, but cactus is the plant. So these come some examples of plants and animals that develop themselves to that situation, that modify or adapt themselves to that situation. Okay. Or coastal biome. Next is coastal biome. I am not discussing very much. Simply, I discuss the biomes. Next is the coastal biome. Coastal biome means it's an area between the ocean and the land. Okay. So, major coastal biome, coastal biome in India is that you see the mangroves. Plants. Mangroves here, we, yes, mangroves can be you know, in this region, Sundarban region, this part of the soil, this one is also got helipad because they are able to survive in both this saline water, saline water. So this constitutes the coastal biome. I am not going into details, other time class will be very long. And next one fundamental biome is, you see, aquatic biome. 
aquatic biome, I will discuss in my next class. This is very important for you to know. That is why I will discuss specifically this aquatic biome in my next class. Aquatic biome. Aquatic biome consists of different types of environment, starting from ocean, ocean to your pond. Okay. It's a very large biome, it's a very large, huge biome. It ranges from ocean to your pond. So I will discuss aquatic biome separately in my next class. That much for today. I think this will help you to understand the basic biomes of India, general biomes of India, and you, it will make a clear concept for your 12th purpose. Okay. So that much for today. Hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you.